everyone welcome back happy new year i hope you're having an amazing start to this year today we're doing some organizing basically i'm putting away all of my christmas stuff i've been dying to do some organization in the kitchen and we're going to be tackling that today but i don't know about you guys but i feel like i have to like clean everything before i can get to organizing otherwise it just doesn't feel done so i started off in the living room area and took everything down we store all of our christmas decorations in our attic and everything all the storage that we typically use is like plastic bins and we work kind of running out so I ended up ordering some of these like softer storage especially since it was just gonna be like garlands and wreaths and things like that and this worked out so much better because it's like really squishy so you can kind of squeeze it in between those plastic containers If you're wondering why I have a million blankets draped over the dining table, uh, my husband actually built this fort for the boys last night and they had like flashlights under the table and like little light up toys. So I just had to put all of those blankets away. I like to store them in my giant basket. It's like the perfect place for them. And I did use a ton of command hooks to put up that garland. So I was a little bit nervous taking it off. And I did determine that some of the command hooks came off very easily, as you guys can see. And some of them were a little bit harder, like this one right here. The ones that have the little loop were very easy to remove. They all did come off without ruining this tile. And they did have a little bit of like sticky residue left over. So I just kind of wiped that down with some regular cleaner and it came right off. There's something about having your home just like completely clutter free for the new year after you take all of the Christmas decorations down. I just really love it. It's kind of like a cleanse for your mind. So I've been meaning to spot clean my dining room chairs and I figured it was now or never, especially since they were already lined up. So for the chairs, I'm actually gonna be using my little carpet cleaner because they are like super filthy. I don't like cover them or anything when the boys eat and they drop food on them all the time. And I'm just, I have decided to just become stress-free about them and worry about them once a month and deep clean them once a month. They also clean off super easily. I don't remember the type of fabric that I ordered these in, but it's not Krypton. I do regret not ordering Krypton. I should have just ordered that one, um, but they still clean pretty easily as you guys can see the before and after. So let's take a look at that before again and then the after so much better i love this little machine it's so good i also use the machine on my carpet so i just went ahead and like spot cleaned any stains that i found in the carpet which there was really just one it usually happens from elliot carrying fruit around and then like dropping it and then stepping on it and smearing it on the rug i don't know why he does that is it like a two-year-old thing i don't remember if sebastian used to do that but i swear there's always like smushed fruit on our carpet After 12, wish I could sleep. Dream about all the ways you could reach me. But now you keep missing out. Look how filthy this water is just from that little carpet spot and the dining chairs. It's so bad. Now that the tree is not covering those picture frames, I'm reminded that I really need to hang up my family pictures. I did order some, but I ended up getting the wrong size. So I have to go through that process all over again, but I'm really excited. We did family pictures over the holiday season and they came out so beautiful. Also, I found this little box at Home Goods, and I use it to store all of my tiny remotes. I have a remote for like my fireplace, different lights throughout the house, and this is just like the perfect storage solution. You guys are in Texas, you know, it is cedar season right now, which basically means that all of the cedar trees are pollinating, and it is the worst type of pollen. I get so sick come December, January, just from like being outside. So I try to stay inside as much as possible, but Bambi does track in a ton of allergens as she gets on the couch. So I find that vacuuming it as much as I can kind of helps with that. Right now I'm standing in the corner. 
Since I was already vacuuming the couch, I decided to go ahead and get rid of some of this like pilling that happened on the edges of the sofa. And it's so strange because it doesn't happen on every cushion. It's just like in very random places. But I love this little device. You can actually use this on furniture. You can also use it on like sweaters and like leggings if you get that type of like pilling. And it's so, so satisfying. I also noticed a few little stains throughout the couch, so I did go in and kind of spot clean those. I'm really good about keeping up with stains. I don't like them to sit in. Even though this sofa does have a really good performance fabric, it has Krypton, which is like magic. I don't know how they do it, but you can literally spill anything on it from like hot oil to like chocolate, and it just comes right off. And yes, I've had experience with all of those spills. And then I also had to vacuum my pillows again because of the allergens. I just cannot be anywhere near cedar because I start sneezing and then I get so congested. I'm actually a little congested right now. I'm sure you guys could probably tell. But yeah, vacuuming really helps. And then this black pillow loves to accumulate lint. I couldn't find my lint roller, so I ended up just using tape to kind of lift all of that lint. By the way, if you guys see anything that you like in this video, you can always check the info box. I'm gonna have links to everything. So we're finally moving on into the kitchen and I'm so excited because I have some fun little projects in here. I got a bunch of organizers which I had to kind of just wash and all of that. I lost all the footage of me washing it and like drying it. So we're gonna kind of fast forward through that. But I let them air dry and then I moved on to the rest of the kitchen. So as you can see, we finally got our floating shelves installed. It only took a year. If you guys remember, there was nothing here. I purposely told the builder to leave the cabinets off so that I could put floating shelves. I also added the pendant light that you guys see on there and it just turned out so beautiful. I love it. And I had so much fun styling it. I actually ended up moving it around like a bunch of times until I finally decided on this final look right here. I just incorporated things that are beautiful that I love to look at but are also functional. And of course I wanted to incorporate a little bit of like pink and then black and gold is what I'm really loving right now. Well, I feel like I've always been really drawn to black and gold. And since it was no longer the holidays, I went ahead and put away all of my holiday items. I also found this really cute container that's actually meant for honey, but when it arrived, it was so big that I decided to use it for sugar. And honestly, we don't really use honey on a daily basis. So I feel like sugar is like a way better use for this. And I also went ahead and refilled our everyday coffee decanter, which we actually switched over to an espresso machine. We still have the, the Nespresso with the little pods, but we only use that one when we have cream and sugar. We've been drinking black coffee a lot lately and we use our espresso machine for that. So we keep the coffee beans out. And then I also had these little rollout bins installed right underneath so that I could keep the rest of our coffee bags in there. And then on the other side, I added some of the kids stuff so that they can reach for bowls and cups for snacks and things like that. And I did end up switching the coffee bean container to my McKinsey Child one because I thought it kind of matched a little bit better. I also refilled all of my little Ziploc organizers. Call this my like food storage drawer because I have my cheese bags, I have my Ziploc bags and everything. I also keep my liners for my air fryer here because the air fryer is right above, so I feel like it makes sense. Head up in the clouds, oh my, since I met you. So 
So next I wanted to tackle those three drawers in this section, which one is gonna be for teas and coffees, and then the next drawer is gonna be for all of my salad essentials. I've been trying to eat a salad every day for lunch, and I do post all of my salad inspiration and things like that over on Instagram and also TikTok, so you guys can check that out if you want. So I went ahead and added some liner to the drawers because it's gonna help with slipping and also it's gonna look really pretty because I'm using clear organizers. And I kind of played around with the system and just kind of determined how I wanted to organize everything. And I included all of the things that I could possibly need for any type of beverage, whether it was a hot tea, a coffee, cold coffee, a mixed beverage. I also found airtight containers that I use to store all of the perishable things like cinnamon sticks, sugar cubes, also cookies that you serve with coffee. gonna have all my salad essentials so I basically just took all of the toppings that I love for my salad and put those in airtight containers and then I put all of the accessories and like tools that I need to make my salads and also cheese boards I figure that they kind of go hand in hand and I also needed a place to organize all of the kids stuff like all the little molds and things like that that help make their plates a little bit more fun they're all in there When I was done with the drawers, I realized that the way that the cabinets were previously organized just didn't make sense anymore, especially since we moved the coffee station to the side. So I felt like all the drinkware should be right next to the floating shelves that have the coffee stuff and the coffee machine. I moved the dishes over to the cabinet on the right, which is gonna be closer to the air fryer, which we use like every day. And then I added all of the drinkware to this cabinet. And I just feel like this makes a lot more sense. So again, everything that you guys see in this video is going to be linked down in the info box. Please follow me over on Instagram if you have social media. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And until next time, bye.